Voila, yummy! There's nothing like deep fried food. Whenever you clean and fillet your fish, let's not discard the bones or the skin. It will make a very nice chips indeed. Here we go. <laughs> Just this morning, I went to a local wet market in Kuala Lumpur and purchased a bunch of fish including this beautiful purple spotted big eye aka red big eye. Very tasty. You can cook it any way you want. Well, in Japan, it is kind of hard to find this particular kind of fish, especially in Tokyo area, as far as I know. So I'm very happy to be able to eat this here in Malaysia. Nice purple polka dots on the belly fin. And it was 16 ringgit per kilo and 1,375 grams. It's supposed to be 22 ringgit, but I got two ringgit off discount. So it was double ringgit love. I tried to remove the scales, however, the scales were very tough to be removed, so I gave up. And so I decided to fillet it without removing the scales, which wasn't too easy either. Here's what I decided to do. First, fillet it and make sashimi and make some chips using the skin and bones and the head will be used for miso soup later. I will do the sashimi and miso soup video some other day, so today let's just focus on the chips. By the way, you don't want to see the filleting sequence because my knife work totally sucks. Um, talking about shopping overseas, let me talk a little bit about shopping at wet market in Malaysia as a foreigner. Sometimes it's not an easy thing to get by in wet markets, especially when they have no price tags that you have to ask each vendor how much they sell their items for. And of course, often you have to bargain. Hate to say this, but sometimes you get ripped off. And if you don't like that feeling of being betrayed sort of feeling, you should probably find your favorite market and stick to that very market so that the vendors remember your face. Then it will be much easier for you to shop around in wet market. In other words, it may not be a good idea to just randomly go to any wet market to purchase stuff as far as I'm concerned. Well, enough of that. Here I am trying out different techniques of cleaning the fish and look over here. I see some white stuffs in the gut. Do you see these white stuffs? What are these? Are these edible? I've never seen such stuff before in my whole life. So it's time to make chips. We use fish skin with scales on, bones, salt, pepper, and potato starch. Use potato starch, not corn starch or any other starch because potato starch will be much crispier when deep fried. Sprinkle some salt and black pepper like that and then cover the fish with the potato starch. Just like that. When we Japanese people make deep fried food like karaage, potato starch is widely used instead of corn starch. Don't exactly know why, but it makes the food crispier as far as I'm concerned.
And we are ready to rock now. Just simply deep fry the fish and make sure you deep fry it longer than you would fry other ingredients like chicken because the fish bones must become crispy enough to eat. Mmm, look at that! Saya makan dulu Itadakimus. And let's try this rib part of the fish. Mm, it's good. And how about the skin part right here? Mmm, looking good, eh? Now it's your turn to try this at home. Bye!